welcome to Alex Krillick's Magic Submitter Software. In this training series, we'll be teaching you how to set up all your items inside Magic Submitter. And in this specific video, I want to teach you about ELGG blog items. Now, ELGG, I get a question, you know, what are these things? I've never even heard of them before. ELGG is simply like a WordPress blog software. It's absolutely free. Anyone can use it. And there are literally hundreds of different ELGG blogs that have huge authority that will allow you to get backlinks directly to your content to start ranking at the top of Google. Now, one of the great things that, that Google takes into consideration isn't just the amount of links, but where those links are coming from. So let's take a look at what Magic Submitter gives you inside with these ELGG links. First of all, I've got a, all you do is click the drop down, go to ELGG blogs, and you can see there's 157. That's 157 different types of dot coms that, or URLs that you'll be going to. So let's take a look a little bit deeper of what ELGG is. So what I did is I just went to ELGG.org and you can see here that ELGG is award winning open source social networking engine. So it's kind of a cross between Twitter and WordPress. It allows you to update statuses, it allows you to actually do some bookmarking, it allows you to actually write blogs. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do. There's different plugins for ELGG, but really for the sake of you getting backlinks, all you have to know is that you're going to use it more like a blog directory, like a WordPress and article directory, and not and less of a Twitter. So let's take a look at one of these um, ELGG blog. So you can see here, actually, let's go to the home page real quick. This is one that you have. It's called fivinverix.com. <laughs> and you can see here that on the home page, there's a lot of blog posts. There's bookmarks going on. There are groups that are here and so let's just click on one of their blogs um, mermaid dresses let's click on this one so what's going to do it's going to go to this account and you can see that mermaid dresses there's a lot of um, pictures in here so just like a normal blog you can do a lot of cool stuff and obviously they're getting backlinks by doing this so let's click on another one and one thing you'll also notice is they actually take anchor text and anchor text is incredibly valuable wholesale NHL jersey so we can see who are this what keyword this guy is going after so you can see that they, they created a WASP this is the account name and you can see here that NFL jerseys for cheap is what they're looking for NHL jerseys for sale authentic NFL jersey so they're getting a lot of great backlinks and if we click on them it goes directly to this NewJersey.org site, which is what they're selling. So, fantastic. So again, let's take a look at what you can do. You can create an article or a blog, and you can actually put anchor text in them. Now, again, I want to give you a little bit of a trick that we use in that, you know, even though you can see another good thing about the ELGG is you can use one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're not limited to two or even three links that you are in a WordPress blog or a typical blog like a, a Hub Motion, I'm sorry, HubSpot, or um, or other types of blogs like BlogPress or, or I'm sorry, like Blogspot. So what you want to do here is you want to make sure that it's kind of a cheat, is that you 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 don't create a whole nother article or a whole nother blog for the ELGG blogs. You can use the exact same spun article or spun WordPress blog or spun blog and put it inside here. So what you'll typically do is the way we set it up is our content is pure text all the way down and then at the bottom we put our links. And so at the bottom and so we use the same format is more of a um, a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Can't think. Oh, resource box. So just like you put a resource box, you don't want to create a different type of blog article than you create a article for eZine articles and you create another article for WordPress and you play another type of article because they're all kind of laid out differently. If you just keep with the same format of your entire article not having links and then all your links be at the bottom, you can use the exact same spun article for everything from blog to WordPress to article directories and even the ELGG site. So let's jump in real quick and show you how you can submit using Magic Submitter. First of all, you can see there's 157 
phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Now, using ELGG uh, blogs is another great thing you can be doing because uh, to do backlink of your backlinks. And if you are using categories at all, Magic Submitter, this is a fantastic way to do it because you can actually put a dynamic link. And if you want to learn more about this, you can click on the um, categories train that we've created for you. But you can literally put two or three or four different dynamic links. So because ELGG uh, blogs allow you to put multiple links in, it's a great way to get your to backlink your backlinks. So if you've got a money site, and let's say you did um, let's say you did a spun article and uh, and backlink that that article to your money site. Well, in order to get those articles noticed and really found, you just can't ping them. You need to actually backlink them. So using the ELGG blog network to actually backlink your article directories is a fantastic strategy to do so. So uh, if you just want to get direct backlinks, all you have to do is simply create all your accounts. So you'll see the green check marks on your right hand side, just like you would see in my the article directories, just like this. And so I'm assuming you've done that already. And then you notice here, there, the great thing about ELGG blogs as well is you don't see them in blue. So you don't need to have categories at all, which is fantastic. And so what you want to do is click on Manage Items and then click Plus. And you can see how simple this is. First of all, at the top, you can see um, you're allowed to organize all your uh, blogs by project. So if you've got a project that you're using, now we typically use projects for our clients so we'll if we've got client A that would be project A so we put the client name in there or if we've got niches we're going after let's say we're going after fitness or watches or video cameras we would use those as a project as well so it's a great way to keep all your content organized so you want to actually choose the project name or you know choose what you're going to organize it under then you simply put in your title and your blog body again you can use anchor text in here and then your keywords and that's really it. Very simple, very straightforward. And then when it comes to your um, services, the ones you register for will show up here on the right-hand side. Again, you won't need to use categories at all. And then down here, you can use what's called random profiles. And random profiles is a very powerful strategy because if you've actually created, let's say, four, five, six different profiles, it will automatically randomly choose which profile to use. So for instance, uh, let's say we've got Bob, Steve, and Ken down here. So let's go back. So when you submit, it would send to, I don't even know I had it here, firstnudist.com. Glad I didn't show that one, huh? Um, Turn into an R-rated training. So um, the firstnudist.com would go maybe to Ken's profile, then the next would go to Bob's profile, the next one might go back to Ken's, the next one might go back to to Steve's and so it's going to randomly choose now what a lot of people think is when you choose random profiles here is that if you've got 157 and you choose three that's 157 times three it's not it's only 157 divided by these three so meaning it's going to randomly choose between them and the great thing about that is is when you're submitting content it's really important that you not only change your IP address you put spun content but also that you randomly choose between profiles to so that you're not leaving what we call a footprint. And when Google sees one IP address and the same exact content submitted at the same exact um, with the same exact profiles, next thing you know, Google discredits that content and you don't get credit for those backlinks. So now we, no one knows the exact algorithm that Google uses. Anybody that would do that would be an instant billionaire. Uh, but but we know this that Google likes original content so you want to make sure you spin your content make sure you use unique IP addresses and definitely take advantage of this great feature called random profiles and so you'll create several different profiles you'll create all your ELGG accounts under each one of those profiles and then you'll be able to randomly submit between the two and that's what you do to be able to get backlinks to your content and start ranking at the top of Google with the ELGG blogs. So hopefully you'll, you'll start using them right away. And again, especially we use them in the, ca in the campaign function to be able to backlink our backlinks. Real powerful strategy. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next training.